Let us make a pivot table. In order to make a pivot table, you need a data source. It is very useful for a large amount of data, but as of now, I have picked this data right here to give you a demo. Now I'm assuming that I work as a teacher in a school and here is a table that shows the name of the students, first name and last name, their score, fees that they have paid, they are supposed to pay, the balance and their enrollment status. I now select the data range which is from A1 till G9, just like this. For selecting the data range, I'll click on the insert tab right there. Do you see this pivot table option? I'll click on this and this box will pop up. It shows the data range that I selected and also it is confirming if I want the pivot table to be placed in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. Let me pick a new worksheet for my pivot table. I'll click on OK now. It has now picked my data source, which is in sheet one, and made a pivot table with these fields. On the right hand side, this is the field list. I can see the different column names that I had in my data source, and these four options are quadrant, in other words. I can now view data in this table as per my requirement. Let me give you an example. Let's suppose that I need to see the first name of my students and how much marks they have scored in their exam. I will pick and drop first name, this one, in the row section just like this. I just picked and dropped it. Do you see what happens next? I'm able to see their first name in my pivot table. I could have also dropped it in the column section, but it will not look very tidy. Let me show you what I mean. I just dropped it in the column section. Do you see what happens? Now it depends on my data that whether I want to present it in the rows or column section. As of now, let me pick rows. Next, I wish to see this course, which is a value obviously, that I need to see. I'll pick marks and I will drop it in the values field just like this. Are you ready to see what happens next? There you go. So, so easy, right? Let us suppose that I now wish to see how much fees they all have paid till now, their balance. What will I do next? I'll give you a moment to give me that answer. I'm assuming that you got it right. Yes, you're right. I'll pick balance and drop it in the values field. In case I don't wish to see any of these columns or rows that I've selected, I can remove them at any time. For example, I don't wish to see fees balance anymore. I'll send it back to the feed list. I want to see it again. I'll drop it back. Easy, right? Now you must be wondering that what is the use of this section, filter. If I drop any data in this section, it shows the data in a list format under a filter. Let me show you what I mean. I'll pick the first name and drop it in the filter section. And there you go. You will see the names of my students under this filter. For this particular data, I wished to view it without filters. That's why I kept it in the row section, but you may use it if you wish to. One very important thing to notice here. Once you click on the pivot table, you will see that this tab, this one, pivot table analyze will show up on your Excel. If I click on any other cell, it goes back. If I click on this again, it comes back just like magic, right? You will find some interesting options in this ribbon. Do make sure that you explore them in your free time. For example, do you see this field list option? 
I can hide this field list by clicking on this option. If I wish to see it again, I'll click on it again. I hope this will be useful for you. Please practice it for a couple of times before we move ahead. Thank you.